Good morning. So we are here to plan for the week of August 31st through September 6th. I'm going to be using this kit from Keepsakes by Ashley. It is a PP Weeks kit, but I'm going to be using it in my Penny Weeks planner. So it's going to be a little bit different, but we are going to see how well we can make this work in my planner. So this does come with a tall box and I think it's really pretty and I do want to use it. It'll take up that whole section. You see there's plenty of space to write it if I wanted to or if you want to in your PP weeks. But in this planner, I honestly don't do a whole lot in this section. So, you know what? If I just pull a glitter header. So, we'll use these glitter headers from um Pretty Cute Planner. We're going to use these purple ones and maybe these pink. So, and again, I don't use this section really. You know what? Let's put this down first so I see what I'm working with. And this kit will be slightly different because. Um, it's not the unicorn paper I'm used to with BEPD Shop, but it's still a very cute and adorable kit. Okay, so let's give a little bit of a rundown on Keepsakes by Ashley. So Keepsakes by Ashley does a lot of custom, custom dashboards and um, sticker books. Like here's the first sticker book I ever ordered from her. They're customized. I got just the silicone sleeves, but you can get regular sleeves and whatnot. Uh, be aware, be aware that processing times for Keepsakes by Ashley is a long time because of the fact that she does a ton of customs. And generally for a TPC sale, if you spend $50 or more, you do get a free usually a free album mini album comes with sleeves and it comes with pages you can see I filled mine up um, and these are all made by her all of these are made by her so processing times do take a while for her shop but her stuff's gorgeous so be aware I am, um, I'm not going to lie. I, I mean, I granted I've never sent her a nasty gram email and apparently she's been receiving nasty gram emails. I understand that her processing times are long. Um, I, I had issues waiting for this order, not because of, oh gosh, I totally screwed that up. That was totally my fault. Oh, you can see what I plan to use next time. Let's move that out of the way. Um, not because of her super long processing time, especially since I ordered custom dashboards for my A5 wide. And that's not why I had issues. And again, just I, for the most part, kept it to myself, talked about it with a few friends. And just so you know, okay, so these stickers, um, I'm not sure what kind of material she uses. Again, I'm not good on sticker paper, but these do not like coming up. <sighs> especially on the Penny Pages paper. I mean, Penny Pages paper is very thick and notorious for not wanting to give up stickers anyways, but make sure that the sticker is where you want it to go because as you can see my struggle, it is not wanting to come back up. Anyways, um, and I understand shop owners, shop owners gotta work. You know, and it's your full-time gig. You got to work. You got to be in sales. But, you know, maybe... Maybe be a little bit further along on, on other sales. On other orders before, you know, jumping into a new sale. Okay? I, I don't want to talk poorly. But just... Yeah. And also... Don't send nasty gram messages like if you're curious oh I didn't even do my normal normally I put the bottom wash down first if you if you are uh, 
let's see, do I need, uh, not really, I just have to make sure I center it. <clears throat> There's no need for nasty gram. Most shop owners, if you send them a message asking, you know, where they are as far as their orders go, will like let you know, you know, what order number they're on. Um, I know it has been suggested to her that on her website that she has an order counter. I know the Coffee Monsters Co. has an order counter because she gets massive sales. I mean, it helps people. So, you know, maybe that'll be something that she looks at putting on her shop website to help. Which would be nice. So you kind of know where you're at and what's going on with it. But there's no need for nasty gram emails unless it's been like like a week or two past her processing time then maybe you might be a little angry but other than that that's just uncalled for it is uncalled for especially when you know the amount of custom work she's doing and especially if you've put in custom work for her to do like kind of get over yourself and I know that sounds really harsh, but get over yourself. You are not that shop owner's whole world. And the quality of her work. Like, I loved everything I got. Like I said, my frustration didn't come from her long processing time. <clears throat> and, and especially with like everything going on with our postal system. Whoops, I totally just scratched that up. We'll just ignore that. You got to cut these shop owners. A break when your stuff has been dropped off sometimes it takes and it's unfortunate when your stuff has been dropped off sometimes it takes 48 hours for the post office to even update look I love the pandas like oh my god like this is going on Sunday that other panda is gonna go on Monday because panda life Now again, this is a PP Weeks kit. <clears throat> and I don't mind the big boxes because I don't actually do a whole lot of planning in this planner because it's just my PR planner. So it works out just fine for me. Um Yeah, let's put it there. Let's put this one here. That's crooked, but I can't pick that back up. That was my bad. Oh, you didn't even see me set that one down. I'm so sorry. I again, y'all know I suck at this sometimes. I got in the I got in the zone and I didn't even think about it. I apologize. So I've been watching some YouTubers lately that do amazing weekend banners and like the amount of work that they put into a weekend banner. Maybe one day I will do so. But today is not the day. And I'm the date cover, the date dots is actually from my new 
Rose Colored Days um, Hollow Date Covers. Oh, I might need to space these out just a little bit more. Will it let me pick it back up? Nope. That's okay. We'll make it work. We'll just, you know, make it even. It's pretty even. It's, it's not exactly how that came out in my head, but we'll make it work. <clears throat> so I have all these really fun boxes to use and I have scripts, so I'm not even worried about that. So let's use I love how colorful this kit is. But again, it, you know, it's a Lisa Frank inspired kit, so I'm not surprised, right? Tuesday. So Monday, I need to move this sticker. Monday, we have my plan with me that goes live. I'll pull my scripts out in a minute, you guys. I'm a plan with me goes live. I have my BEPD shop PR post. Wednesday, a plan with me goes live, which is the plan with me that you're watching. That is crooked. That's not going to come up. I'm not going to risk it. Look out. Look at that. Look at the little angel kitty. Okay. Friday. Budget videos should go live. But I also have my... You know what? Let's throw a little bit of this in there. This is a fun color. My TPC Facebook post. How did I make that crooked? I'm, I'm, I'm special, y'all. So. We'll need these. I have these. I'll pull these. Oops, I don't need the big old live script. Not until next week. So. My Jen Fond from my BEPD shop order. I probably should have used the one with the white background because I have a couple with the white background. I didn't even think about that. Let's do a gray one. Oh, well, that's gonna be right where that's gonna go. That's not what I wanted, but it'll it'll be fine. I should have used my BEPD shop. I'm all over the place. I don't know why I'm like screwing up today. I'm like, it's not a major screw up, but. <sighs> but I could be better. And these icons are from Craft Penguin Planner. She does amazing work. Her foil is to die for. We'll make this one fun. Because that's for my BPD. 
that's for TPC. Again, I don't know what I was thinking. In my head, I picture that going a bit different. My budget video. I love adding foil. Okay, so if I'm honest, I don't know what else I'm gonna post. And I, I've gotten to the habit of, I don't do as much pre-planning in my um, PR planner as I used to. I wait and let it happen organically. That way, whatever happens, and if I, not as much happens, I can just be a little bit more decorative. And I feel like it, I like the way that looks better. In my classic happy planner, I do a lot of the pre-planning because I kind of know what's up. And I'm so excited, you guys, Monday's video, pre-planning in my kiddos, classic happy planner, using it as her academic planner. I am so thrilled how that turned out. And you will see more of hers kind of thrown in the mix. And I'm very excited. When I added those extra glitter headers, you can really see how crooked my stuff is. But you know what? I love it. I absolutely love how this is looking. And I still have these three boxes, these four Dealey Bobs, these two boxes, this cute little deco. I have all of these checklists if I wanna use these checklists, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Even though I don't have anything going on in this box maybe at some point I will I just love how dainty that this week is this is cute And it's like the perfect size for in between. Now, these are just a skosh short. If you look, almost all the boxes are just a skosh short. So I don't know how they would line up in my PP weeks. But even as it is, I'm really loving it. And I'm definitely, I'll probably pull in the, you know, I'll probably use up the rest of these glitter headers somewhere in there. I will definitely use up all those stickers. I don't know if I'm gonna use up um, the checklist, but you never know. Oops, I know that doesn't fit. And Keepsakes by Ashley will be in the September TPC sale, which is the week after this one. And as you saw, I'm planning to use a Planning with Manny kit for the TPC week, which she is also in the TPC sale. So this is what I have. And I'm pretty happy with how this look. I'm really glad that I chose it. I may decide later in the week to add foil, but you know what, that's my business. Because I love foil. I might try out my new rainbow foil in these open spaces just to add a little pizzazz. And my rainbow foil is from Rose Colored Days. So I, if I would have thought about that beforehand because I'm using these rainbow stickers, but I may use it to fill in these empty spaces. So we'll see. All right, you guys, um, that's it for this week. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.